walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis Scott here, and I'm back with some more boxing. It's looking like Roman Gonzalez didn't let that fame go to his motherfucking head. This dude don't want to fight nobody. He done became the pound for pound number one fighter in the world. And now he's pricing himself out of all of these fights, man. I remember not too long ago, people was trying to say he was ducking um, Naoya Ioni, something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And um, I was like, what do y'all mean he's ducking this guy? He only got like 11 fights. You trying to tell me the number one pound for pound fighter is ducking this fighter? Like, yeah, man, you know, I didn't really look too much into it. But now come to find out the dude is a world champion in his weight class. And you don't want to fight him. He don't want to fight. Um, and then he was saying like, no, I would rather fight a rematch with Carlos Quadras. Like, I don't know if that's a bad style matchup for him or not. I haven't seen um, Ioni fight yet. So, you know, I would have to um, go and check him out. But he said that he would rather fight Carlos Quadras instead of that guy. But he's saying that he he want more money. He It's going to be hard for those fights to get made because they're not trying to pay him what he want to get paid. And then they try to make the Juan Estrada fight. He actually beat Juan Estrada at 108 pounds. And um, they're trying to make that fight because both fighters is at 115 now. And he don't want to make that fight. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, they said it's going to be hard. He said that it's going to be hard for him to make fights in 2017 with Carlos Quadras, Naoya Aoni, and Juan Estrada because they ain't trying to pay him right. He feel like they lowballing him. You know, and then I had to go back and check his purse for the fight, man. And this dude made $400,000. Um, and uh, Carlos Quadras made $250,000. Who was the defending champion? Chaco Tito made $400,000. You look, man, I don't hear those type of numbers coming from those low weight classes. And before Chaco Tito came around, like, I didn't hear nothing about those. Did nobody give a fuck about them little bitty weight classes? And if he keep it up, Nobody will give a fuck about those weight classes again. It's, it's just going to happen, man. Look, Triple G do not need Roman Gonzalez to fight on his undercards no more to sell tickets in L.A. He's already a draw. You know, you pricing yourself out of these fights. Triple G don't need you no more. You know what I'm saying? And that's like less money that they got to pay out. Triple G is still going to sell out in L.A. now without Chocolatito. So I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I don't know how much money he want because I think even before the Carlos Cuadras fight, I think he might have been bitching about money and, and talking about he want a million dollars a fight or some shit like that. He might have been asking for a million dollars for that fight. I can't really remember. I didn't keep up with it. You know, and um, he fought that fight for $400,000. That's a lot of money, man. You know, I'm not sure what Rigondeaux was making, but... You know, I think that Rigondeaux is making like purses similar to that, maybe like 500000 But Rigondeaux has, you know, been in the public spotlight longer than Roman Gonzalez. People have been talking about him more, you know, and, and longer. But Roman Gonzalez released a statement. He said, I'll take any of the three fights. But the problem is they do not want to pay us what we deserve. I have no problem fighting with them. The biggest problem is the money. And that's what we'll need to work out, said Chocolatito. I don't know how much fucking money that do he want. You know, what do you want, man? Ain't nobody, can't nobody pay you a million dollars for those fights. Look, I was at his last fight against Carlos Quadras. And I thought the, the place was sold out. Like, when you in there, like, you feel the energy of the crowd. And you see, like, all of the seats filled. But um, come to find out, they only sold, like, about 6,700 tickets to that fight. You know, I think they scaled it off where it would only fit that amount of people in there. That's why, like, it looked sold out because all of the seats that was available was filled. But that's the all that they sold in that fight. You know, and um, the pot, I guess, if you add both fighters' purses up at 650000 you know, um, they might have been able to pay them a little bit more, but maybe not. I don't know, man. You know, I really haven't been keeping track of his finances, and it really ain't my fucking job. I just want to see you back in the ring. Yo, I was just praising this dude, talking about he's an entertaining fighter and shit. And now this motherfucker is like acting like he's ducking everybody. 
Dude, $400,000 is a lot of fucking money for those weights. You know, and it's surprising that they made a fucking flyweight number one pound for pound. And you making nearly a half a million dollars a fight. I'm pretty sure if he took the Carlos Cuadras fight, the rematch, he would make at least $500,000. That wouldn't be a problem. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just think about it. They paid him four hundred dollars as the, the challenger. He's the champion now. Yeah, I think they'll be able to give him at least another 100000 I don't think that's what he wants. He's not saying any numbers in his statement, but I think this motherfucker want to start making million-dollar paydays. And, you know, maybe he's scared. You know, a lot of people's talking shit about him. You know, I didn't talk shit about him because I thought he clearly won that fight, although he did get busted up while he was winning that fight. A lot of people were saying that both him and Triple G got exposed. You know, to be honest with you, and honestly, you know, I've never seen a pound for pound, number one pound for pound fighter, you know, get busted up like that, man. You, that's embarrassing, bro. You're the best in the business. You're the best in the sport of boxing and you leave out of a fight looking like that in your prime. That's not supposed to happen. You know, I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell like watching the fight because Chaguatito was the aggressor. You know, he was throwing more punches. He landed more punches, but... I guess um, Quadras landed the hardest shots. Some people felt like Quadras won. I didn't. I thought that Chocolatito won. But maybe, you know, he's feeling those punches at that higher weight. A little bit harder than he was feeling those punches, you know, down at that lower weight. Maybe those few pounds made a difference on him. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, you know, like, you know you could beat Quadras. And then he don't even want to fight. Look, these, these other three fighters, Roman Gonzalez is number one. At super flyweight, right? 115. Carlos Corrages is still at number two. Or he might have been at number one before Roman Gonzalez beat him. But he's ranked number two at 115. Uh, Naoya Ioni is ranked number three. Who is 11 and 0. He don't really got that much professional experience. So, you know, I mean, it, I don't know how good he is. But I'm going to have to really check that guy out. Just to see why Roman Gonzalez won't take the fucking fight. Like, why would you want to fight Carlos Corrages again? Who busted you up? Even though you won, he that was a life and death fight for you. You know what I'm saying? Why would you want to fight him again instead of this um, Japanese cat who only got 11 professional fights and he has a world title? That's a unification bout, bro. Go for that other belt. You want to make some more money? Go and get that other belt. Why is you trying to demand more money? You know what I'm saying? And you only got the the WBC title at 115. You get more belts, you make you become a bigger name, you make more money. That's how it works, man. You know what I'm saying? But he letting his fame go to his head because now he finally he's not on undercards no more. You know what I'm saying? And um that was just because Triple G was overseas fighting. You know, I think the plan might have been to just get his ass back on the undercards, but he wasn't they maybe Eddie Hearn didn't want to pay for him. You know, so Triple G went over there and fought Kell Brook for Eddie Hearn. Roman Gonzalez fought Carlos Cuadras, but on the same day as Triple G fought. So they still on the same schedule. So I don't know if he's thinking like, oh, I'm a main event fighter now. I deserve to be getting paid more. No, you're not a main event fighter. I mean, per se, you did fight on the main event in that fight. But you also only sold um, 7,000 tickets. When Triple G is on those cards... He's selling like 18,000 tickets or 16,000, I believe, they sold at the forum from the Dominic Wade fight. And I think that at this point, he can sell those without Roman Gonzalez. You know, and then um, the cost of the fighters that they got to pay will drop down significantly. They won't have to pay Roman Gonzalez that 400,000 no more. But you don't want to fight now, Yaoni, for that WBO belt just to prove that you're the best. You know what I'm saying? Clean out that division that you fighting in now. You want to start bitching about money when you getting a shitload of money. You know, I ain't never been to Nicaragua and I never converted the money. But if you getting paid $400,000 American and taking it to Nicaragua, you balling. You balling, man. Big time. You the man. Why is you bitching about more money? You'd be lucky with the money that you, you getting fighting at that weight that you fighting at. And then the other fighter that he's trying to get, he's like, okay, well, you don't want to fight Ioni. You don't want to fight Quadras. Okay, how about you fight Juan Estrada? Now, Juan Estrada, he actually defeated at 108 pounds, right? I didn't see that fight. 
but you already beat him. So what's the problem? Why don't you fight him? He don't want to fight nobody. And it, you can't complain about the money. You can pay it a lot of fucking money for your weight class. And you ain't even American. So you taking that shit back over to Nicaragua and you like a millionaire over there. I don't know what's going on with this dude, man. You know, you gonna fuck around. I mean, you gonna fuck around and piss the promoters off. You gonna fuck around and piss HBO off. Andre Ward and, and Sergey Kovalev are already about to fight for the number one pound for pound. I don't know if they'll get it or not. You keep this shit up, they gonna get it. Then your stock will drop. Your stock is dropping by playing hardball about making these fights. Fuck is going on? Get your shit together and make some of these fucking fights. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a cool fucking with you.